I can feel like 80 rats in my Marys. Me and Drizzy back to back is getting scary. If you fucking with my eyes, just don't come near me. Put some bins all on your head like Jason Terry. Whoa. This is the Phase On View podcast. Every episode, Thursday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. You know what we're doing. You know how we get down. The Phase On View podcast, episode 179. You be the judge. You be the judge. So, man, first and foremost, you already know, man, black ownership. That's what I'm with black creators, man. Let's get it, man. Color power on my wrist, color power on my neck. Hey, guess what? Ankles, waist beads, we out here, man. We out here. You don't see it in front of me because the collection is being created. So, man, hey, while that's being created, man, go cop you some, go cop you some new jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Some new jewelry from the Color Power site because I got summer up there, man. It's going to be below, man. Shop 1CLRPOWER.com, 1CLRPOWER.com, and at CLR underscore power, P-O-W-E-R, at CLR underscore P-O-W-E-R on Instagram, man. Make sure you go, man, go support, man. You already know. You already know. So man, this gonna be a this gonna be a fun filled podcast full of great topics, man. Just like every episode. Um, but first and foremost, I wanna thank I wanna thank Miss Day for, you know, really showing her support and really being the host on the last episode, man. It means a lot. We just need to collab more. Like all of us, all the creators, entrepreneurs, we need to collab more. So, like I, I love it. I love it. Shout out to the Queen. So first and foremost, tops we here have day. Man, Karen and, and and Ken, man, I'm sick of it. So we're gonna talk about that, and also um, these Karens and Kens in Northern California uh, really defacing the Black Lives Matter. I'm gonna get into that. I'm sick of it. Uh, mask on, please. That's the next next topic. Mask on, please. I don't know why y'all think this coronavirus just disappeared and it's not still prevalent. We not I'm just being honest. And there's no there's no hate to. Georgia or Florida, but they 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 doing things in their own, you know what I'm saying, on their own time. We don't need to copy nor mimic them. Point blank. Um thirdly we're gonna talk about Jada Pigot Smith and, and this August I was seeing the situation, man. It's, I got I got a lot of opinions and views on that one. So we're gonna talk about that. And lastly, um I'm gonna leave the would you rather um out this episode and, and replace it with the Redskins and should and their name change? They need to change their name. We're gonna talk about that. I'm a diehard, diehard fan, but we're gonna get into that. So first and foremost, man. Anyways, as we were saying, for real, for real, Breonna Taylor. I feel like, you know, and 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 it's not saying I'm trying to hate or anything, but this is the problem. Like so, so websites and uh, sites such as the Shave Room, it needs to be talked about. It needs to be talked about. Because at the end of the day, you showing everybody's drama within celebrities, you showing all the gossip, you showing all that. We need to stay on point because Breonna Taylor still, and it's going on four or five months now, still no arrests, no 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 incidents, nobody fired. Yeah, uh, they they said he he did get fired, but guess what? He's still going to be receiving a pension. He's still going to be receiving his money. So what does it matter? You have a black queen that was just really, 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 really taking taking on a whole nother, a whole nother dynamic in her life and leveling up, and just worried about uh, being uh, being successful and worried about her family, her friends, very family oriented, lovable person. Breonna Taylor was. Guess what? One night just didn't go the right way, and it's not, and it's not because of her. It's because our terrible justice system and what what they can just do to our people and just hide it and sweep it under the rug like nothing ever happened. So it's disgusting, man. It's disgusting. And when you see all these sites putting up and gossip sites putting up everything, uh, everything in the world, but what we need to be talking about right now, it, it raises eyebrows because that's the problem. That's the problem. And I can see why a lot of people talking about the NBA and things of that nature entertainment wise because the more and more we talk about other things, the more and more that we're going to continue to be disrespected, and the more and more that these justice systems don't care about us. We know who behind we we know who's behind these um the, behind these badges. 
I just seen a video of a of a, 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 a KKK member giving the little the little symbol to another um police officer. It's out here. They're they're out here. They're not hiding it anymore either. So we need to not hide the fact that we need to show the importance of Black Lives Matter and continue to do so. Continue to do so. Keep our foots on their neck. Keep the objective the same. It's not changing. This is the bridge and the gap. This is the period right now. We talk about it all the time. This is the bridge and the gap. No other generation, no other era could say they're, they're on the cusp of doing what we're doing. So we need to stay on point. Please stay on point. So another Karen and Cam, it's been all over worldwide. They can just, and this is so, especially the Karens and, and it's just so, so, so frustrating because they can do whatever they want. These white women can throw a tantrum, throw food on the floor, not wearing their masks, do, do whatever they do whatever they want. But our black people, our black women, our black men, you already know. You already know the end result of that. So that that should tell you everything you know and in Nova California. Unfortunately, an, uh, another incident. And they defacing the, the Black Lives Matter with with black paint. What is that help? What is what is that doing? And in the video, the um the 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 dude Ken and Karen, the dude Ken, like He's talking about, oh, well, I understand that. I understand that. But all lives matter. All lives matter. I'm sick of hearing it because all lives don't matter until our lives matter. Black lives are a part of all lives. Treat us as human beings. And it's simple. Treat us as human beings. But y'all y'all don't want to do that. It's 2020. Y'all still stuck in the old ways and still stuck on that. Hey, look, it's no justice, no peace. And we're going to continue to fight. And... Guys who are vid video recording all these Karen cans, thank you guys. Really thank you. Because you're really showing how ugly this country is. And these people out here who really want to see us just die or our downfall. So get them locked up. Get them arrested. Get them fired. Hey, do what we got to do. We're going to continue. We're going to continue. So make sure that you run into that situation. Just be smart. Just be smart because at the end of the day, yeah, we want to hit, we want to punch him. Yeah, it, yeah, it can get real ugly depending on how the situation look. But it's not worth it. They, it's not. It's not. It's not worth. It's not worth it. Educate, educate these fools. If they don't want to listen, man, had them record that. You already know they lose their job. We we want more to happen, but you know that's not gonna happen. But guess what? All we're going, all we're doing is pointing out these racists that live in America, and we know a lot do, and it's shown. So let's stay on point. We're going to make them say every single name, say their names. Black Lives Matter movement will continue. Breonna Taylor, we, we here for you. We will get justice. We're not going, we're not going to let it. We're not going to let all, all the crazy other narratives and the gossip talk overshadow what happened to you. It won't happen. We're not going to do it. So I wanted to make sure that was first and foremost on my platform. And I'm going to continue to talk about it. And nothing to stop on that. Um, secondly, man, secondly, the coronavirus is real, guys. I don't know if you haven't been watching, haven't been seeing, regardless of anything, regardless of what anybody thinks of and conspiracy, people are dying behind that. Yes, you have cancer. Yes, unfortunately, you do. You have the flu, the regular flu. Unfortunately, you do. But guess what? It have, it's, those things have never been global. It hasn't been a pandemic where it's all happening at once. And unfortunately, and crazily enough, America is right there, past, surpassed everybody because we don't listen. We don't listen. We wanna do what we want and, and just go about our day. We don't have a dictatorship. We shouldn't have one, understandably, of course not. But at the end of the day, we need to be smart as a whole to really combat this virus and really move on with our lives man we want to have a good 2021 but the way we're looking is that just looks like the recovery year and 2022 is really looking like the year that we could probably step back outside probably you just don't know and i just want to talk to the younger folks and people my age and a little bit older 
wear your mask. And that's to everybody, but wear your mask because you're coming back to people's homes. You're going over there, you're going over here, going to see your parents. And you're not understanding that's affecting everybody that you're interacting with because you're not wearing a mask because you want to do what you want to do. It's so selfish and it's so disrespectful. So selfish and disrespectful to the ones that are around you. And I just seen a story that really broke my heart about a man who wasn't wearing his mask, wasn't taking the coronavirus serious, just whatever, didn't care about it. But unfortunately, this man, a day before he passed, lied on his deathbed, supposedly, and really just expressed in an open letter uh, about the importance of wearing your mask and being mindful of the situation. You're putting others in danger. You're putting other lives in danger. Simple, especially the ones that you love and care for. That's the sickening part. If you, if you have the audacity to not wear a mask, to not take precautions, to not do the things that you're supposed to do in these times and affect a family member or affect somebody else, you're selfish. You're selfish and you don't really care. So I want I want to keep on keep on preaching. Please wear your dag on mask. I know it's tough. I know it's hot. I know it's uncomfortable. You have to wear your mask. Keep your bodily fluids to your dag on self. Have you ever seen when you're outside and you see the sun, see all these molecules, see all these particles and stuff that floats in the air all day every day. We know it's oxygen, oxygen, oxygen there for us to breathe, but do you know what else you're breathing in? You don't know. So why wouldn't I be mindful and wear my mask in the time where this virus can take my life? And we've seen it take others' lives as well. Millions, not millions, but it can get there. It can get there. So wear your mask for the safety and protection of others, your family, your children, whoever it may be of importance, and just in general for anybody else. Come on, man. Stop. Don't, don't be selfish, man. Don't be selfish. Put your ego and your pride aside and understand that we get through this, then, you know what I'm saying, we get through this. But we're not going to get through it without people, with people just listening and people want to be a Trump, so-called a lot of these Trump supporters just not wearing masks and getting people harmed and killed. Come on now, let's not do that. Let's be smart. Point, point blank period, let's be smart. So man, this is the topic that I wanna talk about. This is gonna be longer. The last two topics are gonna be a little longer. Hey, this is Jada Pinky Smith and August Alcina situation. Yeah, I'm here. This, this is gonna get real. So, after knowing this situation, I give you a back view in this situation. Um, August Alcina has been has suffered an illness for for a good amount of time now, and has really had a tough really had a tough last well I could say four or five years. Just dealing with um, his brother's passing, even uh, even way before that, his sister passing, him being sick, his childhood adolescence. He's been through a tough time in life, um, and uh, shout out to him for going through all that and being and being successful you know it's a lot of things that we don't know about these celebrity celebrities and their mental health and things of that nature so i'm just pointing that out first and to say that august wasn't in, in a good mental space so he seeked help the, the help he needs from one of the wisest women and not even just in the industry just a very wise woman and she's very influential and she's a legend you know jada pink smith and Red Table Talk, I wouldn't say necessarily just started because of him, but it was, you know, around around that time where that started and that kind of built up. But long story short, August and um, Jada Pinkett Smith was very close. And August confided in Jada Pinkett Smith during the time of his, you know, really his hardest times and just trying to, you know, find himself and 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 get himself together. You know, we don't necessarily know what he was going through, but he... He actually told us in an interview with Angela Yee, and he spoke a lot about his past and what was going on and his relations with Jada Pinkett Smith. And I have views on it, and I, I, I do. I can, I'm going to tell both sides of it, but 
in this particular situation, and we understand that Jada and Will have an open relationship. Hey, totally, you know, hey, that's between them. I wouldn't, I, you know, I, I don't necessarily like subscribe to open marriage or anything like that or open relationship because in my point of view, I feel like if that's the case, you know, you shouldn't be together. But hey, you know, it's to each his own. It's not saying it, it's nothing totally wrong with it. That's something they choose. They're life partners. They explain that life partners, um, just in general, they want to be with each other for life. If they, if they doing something on the side or doing something like that, hey, they, they're they're totally um, with one within their relationship. So understand that, respect it. Cool. That's there. That's Will and Jada. You know what I'm saying? Well, my issue lies in this situation with with August first. I can say with August, it's things that should be kept un, you know, untold or unsaid. And I'm not saying not to him to express himself, but at the end of the day, Will and Jada are still married. And I feel like a lot of information that we're receiving from August, even though it's, hey, it's T, I want to hear it. But the information we're hearing from August, it's like, you know, it, it's, it's hard to gauge and it's hard to be like, oh, well, August, you're totally wrong and disrespectful. You feel me? I, 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 I said that off rip. And I, and I'm honestly, not just trying to say I'm, uh, you know, just jumping, jumping to the gun, but I feel like it's messy and, and kind of disrespectful when you put it on that type of platform. And all of these people that you're talking about are celebrities within the industry and, and Will and Jada are, they, they up there. You know what I'm saying? It's not just saying just cause who they are, just in general, you know, you just speaking out on a marriage that's, you know, still currently going on. And it's just a lot of, a lot of things. And, and, and like, we we get to talk about it. We get to we get to really explore the world of what's going on within that relationship. And I just felt like just on that part, um, because I felt like August he was really confining in Jada, and 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 maybe it was um through it was definitely through a mental and getting himself together. But he also you know spoke about the physical and him getting a blessing from Will, in which Will said, nah, you ain't get a blessing from me. But I don't see it far-fetched because they've been in an open relationship since they've been married. They've been in that open relationship. So it doesn't seem far-fetched. I just feel like it's just messy when it gets on platforms. Certain things should be kept, kept behind closed doors. That's, that's just the honest, that's just the honest truth. So certain things should be kept behind closed doors and not spoken of. Um, and it's, it's really, it really bothers me the situation because not not just August Jada. It bothers me a lot because, and it's not me being misogynistic, feminist, none of that. This is me speaking on a situation that I feel like that has a double standard, and I feel like Jada. I wouldn't say necessarily took advantage of him. I wouldn't say I wouldn't just say that, but I feel like if it was flip flopped and it was Will and a younger and a younger female or you know, a younger female, not even just a celebrity, just a younger female, um, it could be depicted in that way that, yeah, you took advantage of, took advantage of him at a, at a certain period in his life where, or their life where they was really hurt. Because August expressed that to Angelique, and, and we've heard him say it in songs before and talk about Jada. He's, he's been very open and, and expressing himself and his feelings towards Jada. And, He's really been open about his illness and what's going on with him and his and and within his life. And at that time where he confided in Jada, he gave her he gave her his all. But it's like within doing that, he's Jada's still married. You know, you're giving him all, the, the, his uh, his all to you, but at the same time, Jada's still married. Yes, he had over relationship, but I feel like August just wanted her. For her, for himself, and Jada, you know, talking about yeah, I'm gonna bring myself to the red table myself. But Jada, Jada, yes, cool. But do you think in that situation, with if the tables were turn and have and have that with Will, it will be looked at in the same way? Because yes, y'all have an open relationship. That's out on the table. I'm just talking about it being publicly exposed like this and all the barriers were around it and bringing conflict within your home. If things are kept unsaid, that's between y'all. But this adds way more to it because it's a celebrity and he has 
a platform and he has fans and he has opinions of his own. So it, it adds a lot of criteria and, and tough things with this. And all in all to say, Jada is wrong. Totally, in my opinion. She's totally wrong. She's totally wrong because Jada is beautiful. Beautiful. She's a legend. But she also has called August like her son. And it kind of gets very, I wouldn't just say weird, but it, it gets a little shaky when you, when you mention those terms. Son and, you know, all that type of type of talk. But at the end of the day, I don't think August is lying about a lot of things. I don't think he's lying about um, having relationships with Jada because it's not far-fetched. But I, I, and I don't think he's lying about the image that, he, that he's being portrayed in this situation. I feel like it's a lot of things behind the closed doors that Jada not saying, and which why I can't wait until she talk on the red table because I want to know. I want to I understand this one. Because if it was an older man doing this, it would be called manip manipulation and it would be called taking advantage of them. But with Jada, oh, it's, oh, Jada doing this, Jada doing that. She got the clout. She got this, da-da-da-da, da-da-da. Hey, Jada, boss, da-da-da. Yeah, cool. But if it was a male doing that and an older male doing that and a young to a younger woman in that particular situation on a broader scheme, Will would be... I understand that we know he have an open relationship, but Will be getting tar Okay, Will be getting torn up right now. He Will will be getting torn up right now. People are talking about the Jada, but people have both different views, just like everything. But Jada, I, from what I've seen, is getting more respect than being looked at like, Jada, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people that are, but it's a lot of people that's just like, hey, go Jada. You out here working with two, da 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 Nah. And for August to feel like that, I don't know about anybody else's opinions and views on that and saying, oh, yeah, well, uh, it couldn't have been physical. They didn't have uh, intercourse or nothing like that. No, no, they definitely, definitely did. And it's not no speculation to that because when Angelia asked August about all these things, he was just saying straight up, I don't want my care to be assassinated and, and, and I lose all business deals and lose a lot of, uh, a lot of credit to who I am when I'm actually telling the truth, feel me? I feel like Jada, it's, hey, you gotta speak up and talk to us because at the end of the day, you talk to all, all these people, all these celebrities about your problems and their problems and relationships and that, but in your own household, you, you know what I'm saying? It's looking real crazy. It's looking real crazy. Because if I'm Will, and if he did agree to these terms, da da da, whatever, if I'm Will, I'm looking at Jada like, you guys can get this under control. Cause she making he making us look wild, and that's just what it is. So I'm very interested in what Jada has to say about this situation because from August from from August sent to man and how he came on the Angelie, I ain't gonna lie, it looked like that boy telling <laughs> telling the truth. I do feel like it's still messy because he had an album just came out. He had you know he just had an album that just came out. He's in interviews. He's talking about it, but he also spoke about Jada. In, in, in one of his songs and was very, you know, very passionate about it. So it's something that it's something that's been hey, not being said and it has to be it has to be said, Jaden, because this ain't right. It ain't cool either. Because if it's so much of a double standard, if a male was doing that to a younger female's manipulations taking advantage of it's jail time, you know how however you want to look at it. So, hey, I'm just looking to hear more about this situation, man. I'm really look, looking to hear more about this situation. I want everybody to drop their comments. Hey, who, what do you think? I ain't trying, you know what I'm saying? What do you think? What do you think? Give me your views on this, on this situation about open relationships and stuff and open marriages. Because it's a conversation to be had. I'm not, I'm not totally against, against that. I'm just not. That's just not me. But... Lastly, Redskins, man. I'm a diehard fan, man. I'm a diehard fan. But, hey, Dan Snyder, bro. You've been holding on to this name, and we and we all know what this entails. Just because you got that B behind your name doesn't mean that you can't get checked. And unfortunately, that money has so much power to it, and he is the owner of the team. But what just happened, these three other owners, minority owners, 
just dropped their stakes of the Redskins, which they own 40% of. FedEx, FedEx and uh, Nike just dropped just dropped the Redskins um, from their deals. And FedEx was like, hey, man, you got to get this changed or, you know what I'm saying? FedEx Field ain't going to be no more. I'm going to have to change his name. So the options, uh, some of the options are Washington Red Tails, which I feel is like holds a, a, a very, very good name because of the, the history of the Tuskegee Airman and the African-American history to that. Um, you got the Warriors. This is a cool name. You got the Warriors and Red Red Tails Warriors. It was a lot, it was a lot more options, you know, like the uh, the Senators, Generals, da da da. You know, I don't really care for those names, but I feel like the Red Tails and the, um, the Warriors are, you know, uh, are, are definitely good. Regardless, the name needs to be changed. Regardless, the name needs to be changed. It doesn't matter if you have Native Americans that don't. No matter if you have a one percent that feels offended, then you need to change the name. I wouldn't want a team to be called the Washington N word. You wouldn't. You wouldn't want that. And that's really what. It, and that's really what it is because it's, it's a people. That was that was that was a derogatory, uh, derogatory term back then. That's what the Cowboys used to um, reference the Indians and Native Americans as Redskins because they're red. You, of course, you know, and it's 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 it's, it's too much. It's, it's it's disgusting, man. So you got you got to make this change. You got to make this change, and this change starts with this this name change can maybe revamp and 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 have a whole new energy on the team because that's what God God knowingly that's what we need. I'm tired of I'm tired of these seasons of where we're so hopeful and things go. You know, just the deter. Dan Snyder, you need to man up and get this right and get this together. Stop digging in your pockets trying to feed trying 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 to feed uh feed people your money just to make it go away. No. No. Especially in these times of racial injustice. So you telling me that you want to keep a name that has such derogatory meaning to it? And it's not just the Redskins. You you got Florida State Seminoles. You got you got a lot of other teams. You got a lot of other teams. We can figure out different names. We can do that. We definitely can do that. So, to my team, I love I love them to death. But I don't know how much support I'm going to have for them because and guess what? This happened in 2014, 2013. I've always talked about this name change because I've always asked my father figures of what of what the names means and. And and they always just told me, would you like to be called, you know, a derogatory term or have that be a, a name of a team, you know? And I support this team. I'm a diehard fan, but I got to look myself in the mirror too because the change needs to happen. It needs to. It, it should have been happening, but it needs to happen. It's time to it's time to make new history. It's time to re, revamp and and uh, the whole image because it's not right. Point blank period. It's not right. And when it's not right, you need to stop. If that 1% says it's not right as Native Americans, then stop. Find another name. Because you're going to start losing that money, and it's going to start hitting your pockets like no other. Like no other. And you're making the organization look bad. So, hey, you got to do what you have to do as an owner and make the change. Point blank period. It's not right. End of story. You know what I'm saying? This episode, we don't have the would you rather, but guess what, man? Guess what? Black owned, man. I need you guys to support that. Be safe, be dangerous. Just drop that new collection, man. I need you to go cop that new heat. I'm definitely gonna be putting that below, man, so you can get some, you know what I'm saying? Get some get some new apparel, get some newer drip, you know, and it's black owned. So, man, hey, you can't get no better than that. You can't get no better than that. So... I love you guys, man. I love you guys. Lastly, I want you guys to really stay in tune and really peep game about what I'm about to say because I need everyone to listen and listen closely. This is an opportunity to change your life change the future of your kids' life and kids' kids by creating generational wealth and lifelong experience 
and, and just lifelong knowledge. So by doing that, I need you to follow at IG Risk Taker 4X. R I S K <laughs> Taker T A K E R 4X. F O R E X. You already know. We need that. We need you to go tap into that information. See what we're talking about. Because it's an opportunity to just change your life, man. Team up with moguls, man, and really take take your business elsewhere. Take your business to, to no ceilings. There's no ceilings to this. Because with, within 4X, man, you can be doing a lot of other things. You can be doing a lot of other things. But guess what? You can be doing this remotely from home and making money and changing your life. Your life and change the lives of others. So, man, make sure you tap into that, man. That's going to be below as well. Tap into that. I love you guys, man. Thank you for the support, man. Endless support. I come at you every Thursday, 5 p.m., man. One, man.